everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely day today. Now, I know I've been gone for a hot minute and I'm gonna get into all that in this video. But yeah, basically for today's video, I'm gonna be doing my makeup with you guys, having like a nice catch up, chit chat whilst I get ready. And I'm gonna fill you guys in on why I have been gone for so long. So yeah, I guess with all that being said, Let's keep the intro nice and short and sweet because I have a feeling the video might be a little bit longer today. And yeah, I guess let's just get straight on into it. So I'm gonna jump straight into this and start priming my face. I'm not gonna go into like too much detail about the products that I'm using on my skin today. But if you are interested in the products that I use, then just check the description bar below because that'll all be listed down there. <laughs> So I'm not sure how well I'll be able to talk whilst I do my eyebrows, but I'll give it my best shot. I haven't filmed like a good like sit down, chit chat, get ready with me since like forever it feels like and I feel very, very out of touch. <laughs> so hopefully I will get back into the swing of things fairly quickly. How have all you guys been? Because honestly, it has been forever since <laughs> I have like had a good catch up with you guys. I I think by the time this video goes up, I should have had two videos go up already because I pre-recorded some um, whilst I was pregnant. So I should have had two videos, I think, have gone up by the time you guys are watching this video i believe but that is like the last time i filmed any kind of video and those videos weren't really like chatty videos at all so yeah also don't mind the state of this eyebrow i am gonna clean it up don't worry <laughs> oh my god the kids that are playing outside are being so noisy right now what the heck so i guess the first thing i really kind of wanted to talk about is the reason I haven't been like posting videos and stuff, which I'm sure a lot of you guys will probably know the reason why I haven't been uploading videos at all. And I've been like completely just MIA, like I haven't been posting on Instagram or anything. And that reason is because obviously I was pregnant and now I am not. I've had my baby, I had my little boy. And obviously that is why I haven't been posting videos. And the reason being is because I just simply haven't really had the time. Plus I really wanted to take some time to like bond with him and like us all bond like as a family, like having a new addition to the family. Like it was really important to me um, for that to happen. So I obviously just wanted to take the time for us all to just adjust especially my daughter it was really important for me for her to just not feel left out because i feel like it's very easy like when all your relatives come around and they're obviously excited to see the new baby and stuff the the obviously older sibling can sometimes feel a little bit left out i mean i feel like aurora honestly has adjusted so well bless her heart she's genuinely made the transition from like one child to two so easy bless her like genuinely i'm so proud of her um she's just she's so helpful she loves to like help me like bath him and stuff and she loves to feed him bottles and you know like help me with like getting nappies and stuff honestly she's been so good at the start it was like she was like a teeny tiny bit probably jealous and like probably a little bit like what's the word i'm looking for like shocked at like how much time um we were spending like with the baby because obviously he can't do anything for himself so <laughs> it's all on mum and dad and yeah i feel like she was a bit shocked because obviously it just meant we do have like less time for her um but obviously as time goes on and he gets a bit older and stuff it has kind of gone back to like a semi-normal amount of time that we're spending with her and that was something i was scared of like i didn't want her to feel like she was just being like 
forgotten because it's been her like just her for like four and a half years and yeah i just i wanted her to still be happy you know so that's why i've been gone for so long and i was going to talk about like the baby in this video and stuff but i think what i am actually going to do is do like a birthing story video and like I can fill you guys in better there because I don't want this video to be too long. I just kind of want to have like a little chat up, chat up, <laughs> catch up with you guys. Um, so I think I'm going to save that for another video for another day. My eyebrows aren't even remotely even. I don't know. I don't know what I've done here. I'm just quickly going to prime my eyes with concealer for... I was gonna say foundation, <laughs> but for eyeshadow and then I'll be right back. Um, yeah. I think little man has just got out of the bath, so you can probably hear him crying a little bit in the background. He loves having a bath, but absolutely hates getting out of the bath. <laughs> but yeah, that is why I have been gone for so long. But I am hoping I will be back on track a little bit now. I mean, there's probably going to be occasions where I miss a video day here or there. But I'm mostly going to try my best to stay in the routine that I have um, with my YouTube channel. I'm hoping that I can film like one or two videos at the weekend. Like before we go out and do stuff at the weekends and stuff or if we decide to stay in one weekend i can like bulk film a couple videos and stuff i've got a couple pre-recorded so hopefully i should be able to stay on track that's what i'm hoping but obviously it's been it's took us a little while to like get to like a sense of normality <laughs> like i have been like at first i was really struggling to find the time to like do some exercises and stuff because i've really 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 wanted to get my body back into shape like for me to be like completely happy with my body because um i would just like to tone up a little bit like i'm not unhappy with my weight or like my clothes size or anything like that i just literally want to tone up that's literally it um i just feel a little bit healthier so i struggled to find the time at first and then i feel like now i have found the time like maybe not every single day but like usually i can like find the time to get like a good like 15 minute to like 25 minute exercise routine in which that's fine for me like I kind of want to like like gradually <laughs> like build up like my muscle and stuff anyway so that's fine i'm not mad at that basically but i feel like i finally found the time there and then obviously it's finding the time with aurora and stuff as well like to play with her and make sure all of her like needs are being met as well as my own and then as well as oakley's like it's just been a bit of a learning curve and one thing i will say is having two children is definitely completely different than just having one like when i had aurora obviously it was just her so when she went for a nap as like a newborn i would go for a nap or i'd you know run and wash her bottles and quickly tidy up the house or you know just stuff that i needed to get done i would get done while she had a nap whereas now it's not that simple because i will get oakley to sleep and then i'll go to go do like whatever i need to do like washing bottles and stuff like that and aurora will need something like even like silly little things like asking me to make her a drink or she would like some something to eat or you know what i mean like little stuff like that or even just like i could really do with a nap but aurora's awake i can't really <laughs> just go to sleep yeah little things like that it's just it's a lot more tiring i would say but at the same time aurora keeps me sane so 
<laughs> there is also that. But I feel like I found that happy medium now. Like I feel like we're all doing pretty great at the minute, which is nice. I haven't really found much time at the minute though to do my makeup and stuff. Like even like finding time to just do like my basic skincare has been quite difficult. I can't even lie. But I do feel like um, he's getting into like more of a routine and stuff now. So I feel like that's getting a bit easier. He's also sleeping so much better at night now. So I don't feel as tired in the day and stuff anymore, which is obviously great. So yeah, we're just kind of taking like each day as it comes. Um, and just, yeah, getting used to being a family of four. But that is the long-winded reason of why I've been gone for so long. So I've obviously had a baby. Like it was always gonna be a bit of a like learning curve. We've also been like super busy because it's actually the six weeks holidays for Aurora at the minute. So yeah, we've just been trying to do like loads of stuff with her at the weekends when Kane's not working. And I've been like taking her out in the week and stuff to keep her occupied and not be too bored at home and yeah we've just been super busy like we went bowling one weekend we spent like all day at Woolerton Park we took Aurora to Pizza Hut for the first time as well like in the restaurant like it never occurred to me like when I was a kid I used to go to Pizza Hut all the time and have dinner like in Pizza Hut Aurora hasn't done that and I actually don't know why because I used to love doing that as a kid. It was one of my favourite places to go as a kid. Um, so I don't know why we've not done that to be honest. But she loved it, like she loved going to the um, ice cream factory and stuff which is what I used to love doing as a kid as well. Um, so yeah, it was just nice, nice to see. I think we're gonna go to Skegness one weekend as well, probably the last weekend of the six weeks holidays, just for like a little day trip out, like get up really, really early in the morning and leave really, really early and then just come back like as late as we can kind of thing when there's like nothing else left to do. We'll come home when Aurora is hopefully shattered <laughs> and she'll just sleep the whole car journey home is the plan i want to go swimming at some point as well like there's just stuff that i i really want to do before the holidays finish there's just been a lot going on and like i'm planning a lot of stuff at the minute so it's just like trying to find time to film in between that it's just not always the easiest i feel like i might have put a little bit too much of that dark eyeshadow on the outside <laughs> this has gone like much more like dark <laughs> than i anticipated just try and blend all this <laughs> as best as I can. Oh my lordy lord. I just quickly went ahead and tried to like clean up this mess that I've made on my eyes. Probably not my best eyeshadow I've ever done, but it's fine. So I'm trying to think what other things I wanted to update you guys on. I guess um, what's been going off in my life at the minute. Oh my god, my car. My car went in for MOT and i thought everything was going to be fine with it because like honestly it drives absolutely fine and there's no like warning lights on the dash or anything and honestly it drives like perfectly like genuinely it feels like it's perfectly fine but obviously it has to fail because it's me so basically one of my springs had actually snapped which I'm so surprised that I couldn't feel that in the car. Like I thought that that would be quite a noticeable thing because obviously my suspension would have been like off. <laughs> like there wouldn't have been anything to like soften the impact of like going over speed bumps and stuff. But yeah, it had snapped and oh, honestly, I was like, why? Why couldn't it just have been a simple pass? So that ended up costing like I think like a hundred pound to sort out which is just so annoying to be honest because um we really want to go on holiday with the kids next year because Aurora's actually never been abroad because by the time she was like, at an age where we was like yeah let's go on holiday like it'll be fun obviously I don't know if you can say this on um YouTube anymore but yeah obviously the pandemic happened 
so you weren't even allowed to travel and then once stuff started opening like back up abroad you still couldn't go and do like the fun activities abroad so we was like we'll just wait till stuff is like really back up and running and I feel like honestly we probably could have got away with um going away this year I feel like this year it would have been fine um but yeah next year we really want to go away so we're obviously trying to save up money to like have a really really good holiday like you know just kind of go all out kind of thing and then why does stuff like this always happen like it really does my head in <laughs> why can't stuff just be simple but yeah it doesn't matter we will we'll still go away next year it's just so annoying also another reason why it's actually quite annoying is because um I actually really would like to get a new car because the car that I have is only three doors and I'd like a five door just to make it easier for like getting baby in and out of the car. So yeah, <laughs> just one of them things, I guess. Another big thing that's gonna be changing as well is once the six weeks holidays are finished, Aurora's obviously going to go back to school, but when she goes back to school, she'll be in full time school which is just so crazy to me like she's so she's just such a big girl like she's not a little baby anymore which is hard for me to come to terms with i can't even lie <laughs> so that's another big thing that's changing which is just ooh, i'm like like excited for her but nervous at the same time like it's gonna be so weird her not being in the house and just being at school all day like oh I'm gonna miss her so freaking much when she's at school. I just know it and oh, geez. And obviously I will have um, her little brother to keep me company at home. But yeah, it's just gonna be a very weird experience to adjust to because obviously I'm used to Aurora being home all the time. So yeah, <laughs> it'll be very, very bizarre. But she'll love it like she loves school and she loves like playing with her school friends and stuff so she'll be fine but i can't say the same for me to be <laughs> to be completely honest so yeah i'm i'm nervous for that to happen for um aurora to go into full-time school but this day was always gonna come <laughs> i don't know why i took so much cream bronzer then that was not <laughs> that was not what i meant to do Oh, I'm also so excited as well because I'm um, supposed to be going for brunch um, soon with um, some of the girls I used to work with, which I haven't seen these girls in like, God, a, a while basically. It's been a hot minute and I'm just excited like to just go out, let my head down, have a laugh. I'm just so excited. I have gone in with way too much cream bronzer. Like, I don't know who the hell I think I am. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm excited. And also, I'm excited because I've actually never been for brunch. It's just not something I've ever done, to be honest. So when they suggested brunch, I was like, yeah, brunch sounds like so much fun. Let's do that. <laughs> so I'm really, really excited, to be honest. And I'm not even sure, like, what do you even wear to go for brunch? You guys will have to let me know, like, what's, like, the vibe? Like, I'm obviously going to ask the girls that I'm going with what they're planning on wearing. But I don't know, like, do you go, like, dressed up? Do you go, like, kind of dressed up but not, like, too much? Or is it, like, casual? I really don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm excited anyway. Because I've, I've literally never been and I think it sounds like so much fun and hopefully it will be just a laugh. That's what I'm hoping for. And I also haven't been anywhere in like forever without um, obviously taking my kids with me. So it'll be nice to just let my head out and not have to like worry about them too much for just like one day. So yeah, I'm just genuinely really excited for that like it can't come quick enough for me <laughs> i went to the dentist the other day to obviously just have like a checkup and um they basically told me that i needed like a filling and i also need like a cap putting on one of my teeth which one of the tooth that she said needs a cap i was actually so surprised because i thought the tooth would actually need pulling out because basically what happened was i had a filling 
and that filling fell out during the pandemic and then no dentist was seeing people so I couldn't get it sorted like I literally could not get this tooth sorted so obviously it was just like getting like worse and worse and worse and honestly I was so self-conscious about it so then when I went to the dentist and she was like yeah we don't need to pull the tooth out we can just put a cap on it like you can actually save it I was genuinely over the moon I was like thank goodness like genuinely she could not have given me better news there but then at the same time I hate like going to the dentist when I know I've got to have like procedures done so I had a fill in the other day and then when I next go back um they're gonna size me up for like my cap and stuff but then once all that is sorted I really 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 want to um get Invisalign on my teeth just to straighten them up like the tiniest bit. Like my teeth really aren't that bad. I have one tooth that's actually crazy, but it doesn't bother me that much. But I would just like them all to be straight and then I would like to get them whitened as well. Just, you know, to feel a little bit better about my teeth. So I'm glad like all of this is getting sorted now because I'm kind of thinking like, cause for like Christmas this year, I know like I'm talking about Christmas already, but. I was genuinely, I planned for Christmas quite early because I have quite a big family. So like getting everyone presents in like the last month or two <laughs> is stress. So I like to like think about it kind of early and start like getting little bits and bobs early on. Uh, where is my brush? <laughs> so yeah, I was thinking like, I think this year for like myself, I'm just gonna ask people for money this year and I'm just gonna put that towards my Invisalign to be honest that's literally all I want like I don't actually want or need anything else because I don't want like to go and buy makeup because like I've got so much and I'm trying so hard to like get my dwindle my collection down because I actually think we're gonna redo this room because we haven't even decorated this room yet <laughs> for like ourselves because um we swapped this room from it being my daughter's room to now being our bedroom and we haven't decorated it for ourselves yet but i think when we do it's um i want to get rid of my dressing table just so that we have more room in here and i want to get something else that's kind of like a dressing table but not like the whole thing if that makes sense um i would just like 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 maybe like a big wardrobe with just like a few drawers on the end for my makeup to go in and like my hair stuff to go in that's kind of all i want so i really really need to dwindle my collection down <laughs> for that to happen because right now it's literally in five of the um alex drawers from ikea so obviously i don't want that many drawers and then i also have another two drawers for my like hair products and like hair accessories and stuff so yeah for that to happen I really need to cut my collection down. <laughs> so I just went ahead and just um, quickly set my face off camera. Um, <laughs> just to kind of save some time. And also because it's super, super boring to watch. I feel like that's everything I have to like, um, that I needed to like update you guys on. I don't really feel like there's anything else. <laughs> I feel like... I feel like I am forgetting something, uh, but I can't remember what. But oh, do you know one thing I did actually want to mention in this video? So I've been watching like a lot of um, Netflix at the minute. And one thing I love to watch, <laughs> honestly, if you see like my YouTube algorithm, I'll use, no, <laughs> that's not what I meant to say. If you see my YouTube recommendation page, it's just all true crime and my Netflix is literally the same. Um, I love to watch true crime. Like I love to watch um, Bailey Sarian, Eleanor Neal, um, who else do I watch? Danielle Kirsty, Danielle Christie, what's her name? I can't remember, I think it's Danielle Kirsty. Um, yeah, there's so many people that I watch. And I genuinely, like, I did one of these videos before and it actually did really well. But, like, the research and stuff that went into it, like, the planning of the video took a while for me to do. Which honestly gave me so much 
respect for like true crime youtubers like genuinely but i was genuinely thinking about maybe doing one of these videos like once a month on my own channel um because obviously i could do like true crime and makeup like get ready whilst i tell you like the story of the true crime and whatnot kind of like what bailey sarian and daniel kirsty do um because they're like my favorite things because i can stay like i can stay like intrigued in watching the video because i'm also watching someone do their makeup which is something that i also really like to watch so like it's just really easy for me to stay invested in the video so i was genuinely thinking about doing that on my own channel because my channel is like beauty based anyway so it's just like another avenue to kind of explore so you'll have to let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing that and like what cases you'd want me to cover because i feel like i know a couple that i would like to research more into myself anyway so i could always start there but you'll have to let me know if like you're interested in that because like i said i did do one video before and it actually did quite well from what i can remember on my channel so you'll have to let me know because ultimately although i want to do videos on my channel that i want to make i also obviously want my channel to do well so i obviously still want to know what you guys want to see and if you guys are interested in that it's definitely an avenue i've been thinking about going down for a while and i thought like if i do it once a month then i can you know keep my channel pretty pretty much the same but you know it's just like another little like a series i could start i guess but it would take me like a while to like get like the like information and stuff put together and obviously because i do have a little one it probably wouldn't just be something i could do in like a day or two it would probably take me like a good couple of days to sort that out so yeah and then obviously i would have to like script it and stuff so i think like once a month would be fine or maybe like twice a month but yeah you'll have to let me know and i'll see how i get on with it because it's definitely something i've always wanted to kind of go into because i'm definitely a true crime girly i love true crime and like watching stuff about it like i'm so intrigued when i was like at school and stuff i always thought i wanted to be um a social worker but then like when i got older i kind of realized that that's not really something i would be able to do just because of the kind of person that i am but like genuinely now i feel like i would love to be like um either like a forensics person uh, what are they call like a forensic scientist for like crime scenes and stuff or i'd love to be a criminologist i love like learning about like the minds of like criminals and stuff because it's just so fascinating to me and it's because it's like so far from what anything that i think like that it just it fascinates me you know like i can't i can't help it like i'm always just so intrigued by it I genuinely would love to be like a criminal psychologist or something. So there's a little um, insight into my mind, I guess. I'm just, I've genuinely always been so intrigued. Like my favourite, favourite um, course when I was at college was criminal psychology. Because I did psychology at college. But when we did it, like the, um, I'm pretty sure it was called criminal, criminal psychology, I'm pretty sure. Um, obviously it was a while ago now so I can't remember off the top of my head I'm sure that's what it was called but it was like honestly my favorite like um segment of my psychology course yeah I was just enthralled in that <laughs> I've been filming already for like 50 minutes <laughs> I'm hoping this video isn't 50 minutes long I know I've chatted like pretty much all the way through it <laughs> So I'm not sure how much I'll be able to edit <laughs> to make the video a bit shorter. But I'm hoping it's not a 50 minute video because I don't think you guys could sit and watch me chat away for 50 minutes straight. <laughs> oh dear. Just quickly put some inner corner and brow bone highlight on. We're literally almost finished with this makeup look already. I feel like I've got ready pretty quickly. 
to be honest with you. I mean, I'm still not the biggest fan of my eyeshadow lock, but <laughs> we move. Oh my God, we had the cutest night last night. So we basically had like a little game night and like a movie night. And I don't know why we haven't done this before because I honestly, I love board games and stuff. Like Monopoly is like my favorite game. I genuinely can sit and play Monopoly for like two days straight. Like my family was the kind of family like if we didn't finish the game of Monopoly, we will pause it, leave the board there and come back the next day. Especially at like Christmas and stuff, we did it all the time. So we had like a board game last night. It was um, me and Kane, obviously Aurora and then um, Kane's sister and her little boy. So uh, it was just so good. Like <laughs> I love stuff like that. And it's definitely something I want to do more often. Um, yeah, it was just honestly such a laugh. I don't know why we didn't do it sooner, like I said. This palette has like kickback galore in it now. I just quickly set my face. So just so this video isn't too, too long, I'm just quickly going to put some mascara on, sort out a lip, and then I will be back. Okay, so this is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you for sitting and catching up with me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully I didn't ramble on for too long. I feel like I probably have and I'm thinking this video is gonna be super, super long. But hopefully, hopefully it's not too long. But nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed catching up with me. And I just wanna thank you guys so much for being so patient with me <laughs> whilst I, you know, found my feet a little bit again. But hopefully now we'll be back on track or at least mostly back to normal now. So yeah, um, I forgot how to do my outro. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like if you did enjoy because it really, really does help me out. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss when I post new videos every Monday and Saturday. And I do sometimes sprinkle in a few surprise videos here and there. Um, but yeah, that's everything I have for you guys today. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. The ice cream van's here.